<laughs> so wearing a Sonic shirt and having the Sonic eyes. Oh, the drip. In a Nintendo video, I'm so freaking savage. So what's going on, my dedicated Rose Brunettes? It's me, Luigi again. And what if I told you that we've been shitting on Nintendo all these years, all this time for nothing? They haven't done anything. Or maybe, my dedicated Bros, that is just a hot take, some speculations. But not too long ago, I've made this video about Gilvasana, the YouTube channel that is uploading Nintendo-related or video game-related soundtracks on his YouTube channel and received over 3,500 strikes on his channel by Nintendo. But what if it's not actual Nintendo? What if it's somewhat impersonating Nintendo at all? Today I woke up, received the email that led me to this tweet by Soul Scribbles. By the way, follow my Twitter, at RealLuigiKid. The tweet reads, My friend Power brought to my attention that the Gilva Sonic copyright claims are most likely not from Nintendo and are instead most likely someone impersonating Nintendo. I have some evidence in the thread. Please read through it. Retweets are appreciated. Let's get through this, my dedicated Rosa Brothers. But of course, if you want to support us, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe right now. And I hope that Team YouTube is gonna take a deeper and closer look into this. So, here we have it. When Nintendo actually takes on videos with a copyright claim, they don't simply put Nintendo as the copyright holder. That's what I've noticed as well. But haven't actually put a lot of thought into this. Like, this video contains content from Nintendo. That's it. What else do you expect? But then the next valid argument is Nintendo doesn't say which Nintendo company. They will always copyright strike with Nintendo Co., LTD, Nintendo of America, or Nintendo of Japan if it's real copyright claim by Nintendo. Here's an example of an actual copyright claim on an NFT game they took down. Which actually seems pretty legit, as you can see here. It does say that it's no longer available because it has copyright material by Nintendo of America, which means there's a huge difference between this claim and this claim. Oh boy. <laughs> it's some freaky spicy shit, my dedicated bros. These fake Nintendo takedowns seemingly go all the way back to 2019 and they're responsible for things like Beware of the Forest Mushrooms takedowns. I'm not kidding if that's actually real. If someone is truly impersonating Nintendo after all this time and people were shitting on Nintendo for removing soundtracks of YouTube, Oh boy, that hits different, my dedicated bros for that. Those endless loops were actually doing a very good job. Is it not for real someone impersonating Nintendo or is it Nintendo itself? That is the question of the question, my dedicated bros for that. When Giver describes <coughs> when Giver describes the emails he has gotten, he states that they came from Nintendo Japan, which doesn't exist. Here is once again the tweet. Hi all, an update of this as a few hours ago, the soundtrack for Mario 64 Queen of Time and Mario Kart we have been blocked in its entirety of YouTube by Nintendo Japan. Can you post it if more claims come in? You can see here all the emails of all the content that got actually blocked. But after reading this, I hope that Team YouTube actually takes a closer look into all this and hopefully we can solve it. If there is actually someone impersonating Nintendo, that would be different. But it's still very weird that Nintendo after all these years, turning away with a blind eye, not doing anything about this. That's some huge illegal shit that this person that maybe is impersonating this whole company is doing. Like, holy shit. Gotta take some legal actions, my dedicated bros here. Here's an example of a fake Nintendo claim being reinstated by YouTube after finding out that it wasn't a real Nintendo. Also, remember Kirby reanimated? This video was blocked by just Nintendo, and after a year or so, YouTube finally did the right thing and reinstated it, despite the dispute initially being rejected. I'm sure they already told that video was not blocked by real Nintendo. I was checking this not too long ago, and the Kirby reanimation or reanimated is actually back up on YouTube. So, is it Nintendo? I'd really appreciate it if you could spread it around and especially make sure to show this to Gilvasana. And again, thank you, Para Spikey, for bringing this to my attention. Keep in mind, this is speculation and not a fact, but it's something YouTube definitely needs to investigate. The Nintendo JP thing definitely isn't real, but info seems to be inconsistent. There's so much confusion about this whole situation. YouTube really needs to clarify whether it's fake or not. Yeah, my dedicated Rosa Brothers, that is now the question of the questions. I would hate to not have Gilvasana around anymore. I mean, I still love his Silver Gunner remixes. I enjoy most of those even more than the original music because it's a fresh new take on those. But it would still suck to have someone deleting his YouTube channel because of one motherfucker impersonating a whole company and manually claiming and striking the content that Gilvasana has uploaded the past 11 years. Over 10,000 videos in total and 3,500 already taken down. It it just hits different, my dedicated browser for that. And I really hope that this can get resolved. I hope it actually isn't Nintendo. Because I told you, 
Nintendo's my childhood, but they've been doing so much bullshit. It wouldn't surprise me if it actually is Nintendo behind it at all, but I really hope, from a fan perspective of Nintendo, and as a fan of Guild Vasana, that it's actually just one single motherfucker impersonating this company. But yeah, that's just something that we have to figure out in the future. Today would be the day that Guild Vasana would delete his YouTube channel. That's at least what he has announced on his Twitter. But well, let's hope that after reading this, and I doubt that he didn't read it. <laughs> or we can take another look into this and maybe even take legal actions because this shit is highly fucking illegal what they're doing right now. But yeah, those once again were just my two cents. I really hope things gonna get solved. But did I get a rose for that? What is your opinion about this whole thing? Is it actually Nintendo? Is it not? Let me know your opinion down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter, RealLuigiKid. Join my Discord server, discord.gg slash LuigiKid. And when you subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash LuigiKid. The more people in there, the better, you know? Because I'm a better person, that's the way it is. If there are any updates, I will, of course, keep you up my dedicated bros for that. Links to the original tweets are also in the description below if you want to take a further look inside. And please, spread the message. We gotta figure this out. And with all that being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to rate the video, all the comments, feedback, and we'll see each other in the next video. Touch my dedicated bros for that. Stay awesome, stay safe, and see you. Ciao!